Okay, here we have uh, my Caitlin trailer for sale. I'll just give you a bit of info about it. As you can see outside, there's a four foot uh, resin uh, model ice cream. So it's blatantly obvious that you're selling ice cream. But believe it or not, you'll still get people coming up asking if you sell ice cream. But lots of people, isn't it? Still, here we go. Um, as you can see, it's got a fine on. Uh, so it's £2,000 uh, to get professionally put on. Typical, isn't it? Just when you start something, yeah, there's a GSEB digging. Anyway, we'll crack on. As you see, don't say it shows pizzas, uh, sandwiches, the coffee cup. There's all the coffee beans all the way around. I'll just, uh, you'll probably get a better aspect from this, the shots on the eBay pick. Uh, that's a picture of the back door. Okay, as you can see, that's the van I used to pull. Uh, the trailer, you will need to get a decent size of skate or a van or a big car to be able to pull this because it's all lightweight. I'll just put the second on top of the pop machine here, top of the pop fridge, we'll shut this door so you can get a bit of quiet in here. Right, here we go again. Right, okay, there we go. Just give me a buzz around there so that um, Okay, it's uh, just a tip on that if you're new to the, to the game. Uh, you need to keep that sort of three quarters filled, half filled, and keep topping it up with cold water so it doesn't go uh, cold. Because uh, refilling all it takes 20 30 minutes to reboil a full sort of boiler. There's uh, double sink for you, uh, your soap machine, fire extinguisher, a couple of salts above. First aid kit, uh, there's your holders uh, for your, your cups. Okay, there, sort of 60 70 quid a piece. A couple of more sockets in there. Uh, here's your coffee machine. Uh, that cost uh, over three grand, about 3,300 to get professionally installed. Okay, it's a Fracino. It's a top of the range one for a, for a cable and trailer. It's dual fuel. Okay, the benefits of that mean uh, there's a flick of a switch uh, down there. You can go from gas to electric or a combination of both. Uh, if you use both, you get a very quick, rapid heat up time of about 15 20 minutes. If you use gas only, it's open 30 to 40 minutes, um, you know, which makes a change. Because so, as soon as you open this hatch here, wherever you are, people will be saying, Are you open? Are you open? Uh, back of the coffee machine, uh, it's, a, it's a high group, okay. What that basically means, okay, is it's tall enough to stand a complete cupping. Right, that's a tall takeaway cup. A lot of the, the standard machines and cafes and that, it's only cut to about that size, there's not as much clearance. Uh, yeah, so you can't get a full cup in. With this one, you can get four cups. There's two groups, you see the two handles there? One, two. Means you can actually get four cups of Italian serving. You just fill your group head higher with more coffee tap it down to the top so you've got enough espresso coming out to serve two cups so if you're busy you're going to be serving four cups at a time you've got two ones okay one two which means you can be doing one some so you can be doing one milk here just waiting for the, the sound to change that's how you can tell it's boiled hot and you can have another large jug of milk over here so you can have a, a line all your cups up and you can have a, a very uh, rapid sort of turn around for your cups and your hot chocolate uh, because you don't want the queue to go somewhere else if you're taking a long time that's the benefits of one of these classic machines is that uh, you can turn the coffees around you can do sort of four to six in a minute uh, depending on how good you are whereas one on its own a standard machine can take 90 seconds just for one cup of coffee uh, the knockouts, which means your queue disappears and so will your money. Okay, so moving on, uh, just back to the coffee machine, you know, as you've seen from this, you may have seen some trailers or some sort of coffee carts or whatever. Uh, they can only sell coffee and you've got to stand outside and you know what the British climate's like. Uh, you end up freezing cold all day, which is not what you want. Uh, whereas in here you're nice and warm. Uh, not only have you got a coffee business on its own virtue at this end, you've, you've got your cooking facilities at that end, uh, you've got your, your traditional
traditional griddle at the bottom. Then you've got your uh, cooker, which is a small uh, deep pallet. Uh, it's big enough to get a roast in. Um, you know, you get a, get a roast in there, no bother. And do some pizzas, two or three 12, 14 inch pizzas in there. And you can get, you've got your, that was 500 quid, about six, seven, six, about 550 installed fitted. And you've got your, this was another sort of 600 quid on its own, which is a, um, a display, hot display unit. And the benefit of this one is you've got a little reservoir down there which you fill with water and it's heated up by electricity underneath and it releases the vapor, fine vapor mist and it keeps your products fresh and hot uh, for sort of 40 minutes you know uh, you've got room over there in the corner uh, for a sort of griddle uh, for a, a chip scoop or whatever you've got your four burners here for keeping your gravies, soups etc uh, nice and hot um, you can put bacon in there as well and keep that hot. Uh, you, you can see you've got your you've got a four range um, burn four range burner there. You've got your top of the range commercial uh, fryer here. It's got uh, there's sort of fifteen hundred quid on the road. Uh, twin basket. Uh, that's just for event stuff because it's high output for chips. Uh, you've got. You've got your fridge here, big fridge, big freezer roller, uh, which you can keep soft scoop ice cream in, and uh, your lollies, or I used to use it to, I used to sell fruit smoothies, and I uh, used to just keep your frozen food in there, and um, then you just take a scoop out into a cup, and then you take it and then you just put it over here in the corner just stand it over there so you've got a couple more sockets there there's about eight sockets all the way around in here there's plenty of sockets for you and then you can have um, different ranges selling at all times of the day because in afternoons people usually want an ice cream or, or a cold drink or something like that you know and I had uh, I just used to have my uh, machine over there to mix the fruit up sort of a third of a litre of orange juice and that and put a little small scoop of ice cream in frozen fruit and you've got a beautiful smoothie and knock out for 250. Uh, also I used to sometimes take that hot display unit away and I used to have all this bench space there's a massive amount of bench space from those Bain Marie's um, I used to just lift them out and I, I used to have uh, from there all the way across far into the shelf and I could put I used to put four um I can't even remember the name now. Four slush machines. It was like proper fruit roll mix, a really high quality concentrated fruit mix. And you can get this companies will actually even uh, loan you those machines as long as you buy the fruit so you don't have to lay out for a purchase of those four machines which are expensive, you know. Uh, here we've got a four foot cola cola fridge. Uh, for keeping your, uh, all your cold drinks, pop, etc., your waters, and that's about it, really. So it's fairly uh, extensive amount of uh, versatility you can use this unit for. As I said, you've got your hot food, you've got your cold range here for cold drinks, you've got your, you've got your Ben and Jerry's freezer there, uh, put your ice creams in for your scoop, you've got your range. You've got your um, hot food end at that end, and then you've got your uh, humorous hot display units, and then down below the money maker on its own, and the coffee machine, and then you've got your traditional sort of Nescafe and then some coffee down there. Okay, there's a brief view for you. Um, just show you this pots of light storage space underneath. Put all your, bent, your boxes and put all your cups and stuff on the net. And that's, uh, that's all right. Okay.